it's Monday morning, it, it has stopped raining, but we've had nearly two, well, over two inches of rain in the last 48 hours. Big shout out to Richard Baker, who sent us some snacks for the brew room, so thanks for that. Is it gonna dry up later on to bale? Probably not. Will it dry up enough to cut anything? Doubtful, but we'll see. We're gonna get the yard ready to take in more straw. The shed's ready to take in the OSR and we just a bit of a shuffle around with everything really and keep the dryer going all day. The girls have got the dustpan and brush off cleaning up the yard. It's amazing just how much stuff accumulates over a very short space of time. What was it, a few weeks since we had that NFU walk where we completely scrubbed everything and now look already. Because we're using quite a bit of chip at the moment we're waiting for a speed sensor for the chipper. Andrew's just put the silage trailer on. I'm just checking it's all hitched up correctly. I'm going to go and pick a load of chip up and do the yard at Rain Hill off Adam and then we're going to use that. Something tells me that straw ain't going to be fit to bale today. Oh! Well, we're up now with the JCB, another JCB, twins. Last bucket full and then a bit of a pat down. Or maybe get another little bit in the front. Or a big bit. skim this barley off this OSR that was discharged without mixing it up too much. We might have to put it through the cleaner. So initially looks like I've done alright but look it's all mixed so we'll have to put it through Bill's cleaner. Great, quite a bit off the last bit now, that's uh, ready to be cleaned. I might actually just put it for the combine, save carton it to Bills. They're just on the top now, scraping off the last bit with shovels. We've had about 70 mil of rain in the last week. It is the wettest July for 11 years so far, and we've still got a week left to go. The straw has actually floated away. There it all is. We won't be bailing that for a bit. So this watermelon's just come into green waste, so we've decided what we do is we put it in a Merlot bucket, lift it full out and drop it and see how it smashes. Watermelon. What's that, the Harry's? Watermelon. Sugar. Hi. Hey. Watermelon. Hi. Oh, you missed the sugar? Oh, right, here we go. Right, let's see how, go on 10 meters, let's see what happens. This is why you should wear a helmet on a quad bike. Watermelon, 10 metres, 35 foot. Go on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, always wear a helmet on a quad bike. Just, no, because the air brakes are on. We're just hitching up now, but it wasn't quite square. Normally you can boom out and twist it square, but the air brakes are on because we're on a slope and it went rolling off. Go on. Tiny bit. Whoa. Forwards two inch. Forwards a bit, whoa! Back a bit! Back an inch! Go on, whoa! Forward a bit! 
That's it, right. I'll do. Head is on the 74 and two trailers run. Got some snacks. Let's go and try and cut some wet OSR. Oh, that's missing, I'll do. This is rubber duck. Looks like we got ourselves a convoy. Muddy to wipe my feet when I get back in. So I've got my plastic mat in them. <laughs> you see that there? Looking at me. It's like, what's going on? I've been hiding in here. Ah, uh, don't shatter it all. It's ragwort here growing near the hedge. Um, yeah, the deer is definitely scared of the Lexian. Uh, get it? Mm. How deep is this water? Quite deep. It was really weedy on this head on here where the pigeons have eaten it. I tried to take the tops off the OSR. Um, jammed up the returns elevator with all the weed seed. So I think I'll turn the fan up. But it should be alright when I get back into the middle of the field. Not sure if the camera picks up very well, but you see that like white bit in the middle of the tram line? That's where when it was spread off the other week, it shed a little bit. So it's not we like we've lost a little bit of that there. See you might be able to see it better on that stripe there actually as we pull up to it. Um uh, windows are a bit dirty to be fair on the combine, but you can see there that like white stripe through the middle. Maybe not so well on the camera actually. See it white there in the tram line, that's where the spray has gone through and knocked it out. Anyway, there's Sam getting a video of the member Sam. Well, it's Radham now. <laughs> Remember Adam? Yeah, it's doing alright this bit of the field. 6.28 tons a hectare, that can't be right. It is doing alright though. Video. Oh no, that's sorry, no, that's that's how many hectares I've cut, 3.09. But it was reading 4.6 a minute ago. The middle of the field's good. So I'm there getting the right angle. It's a shame the headland did about one. Seen all the bugs there on the end of the header, little flies. Just getting to the last bit of the field now. Bit of a weedy patch here. The pigeons sort of grazed off this far end. Anyway, blocked it up. The joys of driving a combine. We anyway, had them volunteered to unblock it. 20 minutes in to run blocking it. Just one rotor's done, just do the rotor now. Combine driving's fun. <laughs> I've loosened it, now Rob's took over, so we can claim victory. Who did you say 40 today, Rob? Uh, James Hayward from Surf and Surf Engineering. Happy 40th, mate. I think Ian missed him off the birthday bumper, but here's the birthday bumper. Rich Hancock is 58, Robert Woodham is 40, Roman Kitzel 24, and the start of these, you have started a trend, David Nicky Hill. 13 years anniversary, Peter and Steph, 10 years anniversary, 
John and Margaret's Aiken eight years anniversary. Happy birthday, not happy birthday, happy anniversary to all of you. James Ingram, Philip of Bliss, happy birthday. And James Haywood, who's a friend of ours. The lads did want to wind it up with a different age, but I've put your real one on in case you ever do mine. 40,975 pound raised. And any fans and rounder uppers want to make it 41, here's your big moments. It's like a tree, that one, isn't it? Nice big roots on it. We done. 45 minutes later, a little bit of blood, sweat and tears. Rob got a paper cup. See if it'll start now. Just flicked it in then, took it straight out again just to check. And that started up, no codes, off we go. Nearly finished the field I'm in, but it's not ideal conditions. It's so wet and uh, we we jammed it up, me and Adam and Rob and blocked it. Then a little bit later on, sort of blocked it again on a headland on a different field, but it was only sort of 10 minutes from block it then. It's yeah, far from ideal conditions, but this block of land is a little bit away from the rest of the OSR we've got to cut. So it's nice to get it out of the way because there was there was a kind of like a couple of hours of road work moves to get here and back. So Hopefully, finish this little corner off. Again, it's a bit over the brow of a hill where the pigeons have munched it. Um, but this year we've been, we have been quite lucky. There's only been, if there's been 10 acres out of 200 odd grazed, we've not done too bad. But yeah, get this done, get back to the yard. Um, the hope for tomorrow's a better day, although now the forecaster said that tomorrow that was going to be the better day is now going to be the worst, and the worst day, and it's going to rain in the morning. So we'll see what happens. And, um, our fingers crossed. Anyway, that's it for the day. I'm 70%. Charlotte's worse because something's gone wrong with the website for the dog field and uh, there's loads of double bookings so she's going to be working all night trying to get around that. So um, yeah, wish her luck. Um, let me know how you're feeling today. Answer us a percent. I'll see you tomorrow.